All right, let's talk about Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I just uh, recorded a ton of reviews before I did this because I was trying to collect my thoughts, but really all I did was just talk about a whole bunch of other films in between or episodes of TV shows. <laughs> so I probably should have done this first, but I, I don't know. I didn't feel ready for it in that moment. Um, I've already looked at a bunch of people reviews and 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 YouTubes and all that kind of stuff just quick little like here and there and almost everyone dislikes this movie that I have seen um, but as usual I'm the odd man out I totally enjoyed this film I had a good time with it I was so glad that they tried something new because the first four films while I enjoyed like you can watch all my reviews I just did all the fucking reviews right here so I Liked that something was new because in the last four films, we basically got a pretty similar formula going on. Um, it worked for me, but it was just, it was nice that they went in a different direction. Another thing that I really liked about this is that they hired a guy who has directed horror in the past with The Orphanage. And um, this later half of this movie, like especially the last act, is got more horror elements in it than any of the previous Jurassic Park films. Um, and at being the horror fan that I am, I really appreciated those. There are a good amount of things that I could sit down. If I did a spoiler discussion right now, I'd need to see it again to do a spoiler discussion. But there's a lot of things that I could nitpick and be like, this is so convenient. This is is just outright ignoring logic. This is, they're small, and there's a couple that are big, that are just like, really, no one saw them? Like, really, how? That's impossible. There's no way no one saw them. I'm not gonna say what that is, but no way. And there's, yeah, there's just a lot of convenient moments where it's like, oh, no one checked for that? No, like, they just so happened to get to be able to be here? They get like, and this leads up to somewhere or like they got out of this by doing this. You're like, okay, okay, that's convenient. That much thought was put into that. But I feel like those are fairly nitpicky. As I said, I feel like a couple of them I, I do have an outright gripe with. Like, come on guys, really? Um, but that didn't detract me too much from enjoying myself. I will say the trailer, as expected, gave away way too much of this movie. Holy crap, dude, it showed almost the entire film. <laughs> so every time this would happen or that would happen, I'd be like, I know that this happens. I know that that happens. Um, the dinosaur effects in this and all that, awesome. Just such great stuff. Visually very cool. Um, it's got a much different tone than the other ones. But I liked some of the character moments in this and how they, you know, complemented things that had happened in the past. There's some, there's some fundamental changes that happen in Bryce Dallas Howard's character in the first movie, Jurassic World, I mean, not Jurassic Park, that actually play out into this one. Um, I did have that fear that come true though, that, you know, in, this isn't really all that spoilery to me. So if you think this is going to be spoilery, cover your ears for a second. But something that I didn't care for in the third movie at all was that Dr. Grant and Ellie broke up. I hated that. I hated it. And in this one, I was like, they're going to have freaking Owen and, uh, Claire broken up. And of course they were. And I was like, God, can't anybody move, stay together in sequels anymore? <laughs> like, why do they always have to have these sorts of stuff? But I guess it, maybe Sandra Bullock was right in Speed, where she says, I can't remember, I'd be paraphrasing, of course, if I tried to write, said, God, I want to watch Speed. I love Speed. Um, not the drug. <laughs> I love the movie Speed. Uh, pop quiz, hot shot. But when she says, like, uh, relationships usually don't work when they start under, you know, stressful circumstances, I butchered that line. I know it's nothing like that, but that's the gist of it. So maybe that's true. Um, but, yeah, like, this just felt so different. And I think that might be a big problem with what people are having with it. Uh, I definitely think there's other things. While watching this, though, I, I can see where people would have their issues. But the things were just working for me. 
I really enjoyed some of the humor. Um, there's one character in particular that half worked for me and half didn't work for me. And it's a guy that's around them and he's constantly afraid of things, which we've seen this character in tons of other films. There's moments where it's actually really funny. There's certain lines that he says. He says something to Owen Wilson when they are Owen Wilson. What the fuck? Owen Grady is his name in the movie. Um, I don't know where the hell I was going with that. <laughs> Owen Wilson. Oh my God. Do you imagine him in this movie? Um, but he says, I don't know, it says something in exchange that takes place with them in the plane before they're about to take off and go to the island. I just thought that line was hilarious. And so there, there are moments that are really work comedically for him. And then there's other ones that are just like, <laughs> so, but that's okay. I mean, that's fine. Um, I think I've mostly mentioned the things that I liked and disliked. Um, this is a hard sell though, because honestly, I, I think I'm going to be in the minority on this one. I think this is going to be a film that a lot of people just outright dislike because I've already looked and, and a good amount are, and I think that's going to be the, you know, the common general consensus. Um, but I not going to, I'm not going to be that person who's just like, Oh, well, everyone's saying they dislike it. So I better make, no, no, I liked it. I had a good time. I've enjoyed all five Jurassic parks. I, I feel like this almost was a setup film for a sequel. Like, that's the way I felt. Like, I felt like this was a middle film. Like, Jurassic World was the first one. This is that Two Towers middle film. Empire Strikes Back. It's not as good as those. I'm not saying it is. So don't even quote me. But I'm saying it feels like that middle film. Not that you need an explanation on what a middle film is. But it's really dark. And it leaves off on a place that's just like, oh yeah. <laughs> this could become something. Easily. So I hope it's already made $400 million overseas. I have no doubt it's going to kill here. Um, so I don't know if the money will push another sequel forward, but I'd be definitely open to it because I enjoyed this one. And I think where it ended on the last one or at the end of this one um, would be really cool setup for the next one. So I hope to see that happen, but I kind of am in this moment doubting it because I think this is going to get shit on hard. So uh, if you've already seen it, let me know. I already, I know I have a subscriber that told me he hated it and that he thought it ruined the franchise. So he's probably already unsubscribed to me, but sorry, bro. I'm not sorry, but you know what I mean? Like I'm going to tell you my honest opinion as usual. So uh, yeah, everyone was good in the movie. Uh, you know, Chris Pratt's good as usual. He plays the same character in this as he does in guardians of the galaxy and everything else. Like he's that superhero, funny, tough guy now. Um, but his lines are all great. A lot of them are in the trailer. <laughs> and Bryce is good as well. Um, and uh, there's another, I like the little girl in this. I thought she was cool. There was some cool, there was a couple little twists that I actually really liked. I should have mentioned that, but it's hard because I can't because it's a spoiler free thing. So I hope once it comes out and I see it again, I'll do a spoiler discussion so I can really get talking about this one. Um, but by then, <laughs> I don't know. It would be so hated. Yeah, probably everyone will not even watch it. All right, I've rambled long enough.